Our eyes can focus. They can also move. Our eyes can see what is in front and to the side. Our eyes can see clearly. They can work together so that we see in three dimensions and also see color. Our eyes can respond to contrast and to light and dark. And in addition to all that, they can work together with our brain so that we understand what we see. Therefore, do you think that this elephant will have any difficulty walking? How people perceive a certain object depends not only on what passes through their eyes, but also on the way the brain interprets the information. What could go wrong for someone who is visually impaired when they are a part of a group? Knowing who is in the group and where they are sitting. Knowing if someone has left or joined the group. Knowing when to take your turn in conversation or activities. Needing more time to access any visual material, for example, cards in the slides. What could go wrong for someone who is visually impaired when they are following a moving object? The difficulties here may include tracking a fast-moving object, for example, a ball, throwing, catching, coordinating a fast-moving object, crossing roads with oncoming vehicles, depth perception with some visual impairments. What could go wrong for someone who is visually impaired when they are in the classroom? Being a part of a big group, knowing when someone is talking to you, the amount of light coming in at the window, it might be necessary to use blinds at the windows, following an activity led from the front of the room, accessing information on black, white smart boards or projector screens. What could go wrong for someone who is visually impaired when they are looking at details, for example, a sheet of music in this case, finding a specific piece of information on the sheet of paper, it will take longer and may need to be magnified or enlarged, confusing detail, for example, the pencil markings and amount of information on the page, the contrast between the printed music and the color of the paper, focusing on detail for a longer period of time can be tiring and in some cases even painful, causing headaches. What could the difficulties be for someone who is visually impaired when they are looking at a person or a face? Recognizing a friend, seeing and understanding the facial expression, seeing and understanding body language. What could go wrong if someone who is visually impaired is trying to find what they have just written, for example, on a letter. Keeping your writing straight to the line, being able to write quickly enough to keep up, not being able to read back what you have written, finding your place when you want to add something to what you have already written, changing focus from distance, whiteboard, to near paper to write on, Concentrating on both writing and listening. Frequently, there can be a combination of conditions which makes demonstrating what people with impaired vision probably see very complicated. Some might have hardships moving from dark into light spaces and the other way around. Others might be unable to see color or specific colors, which gives an even greater meaning to contrast. If you are interested in simulating visual impairments or blindness, go to the respective material and video in order to learn how to do this in the most effective way. For more details on the various conditions, go to the respective info sheet.